He got it through Cheryl Stansbury, both he and Alan. She's nice. <laughs> she is, isn't she? Let's go and see her. All right. I like the way she does her hair. <laughs> so, is my coffee any better? Well, uh... well, admit it. Yours tasted like burned rope. So, uh, overdone engine oil. Mm, okay. And mine? Well, tastes pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way. Hmm? How are you feeling? Well, so far, so good. Alan Quartermain told me what to do in an emergency. Sure, you call me. Right. Right? Hmm. Hmm. Who's, uh, Prunella Witherspoon? Beats the hell out of me. Aha! An old girlfriend. Hmm. I doubt that. Bring it over here and read it. I can't read your mail. Sure you can. You sure? Read it! All right. Dear Cousin Robert, I do trust you remember me. I'm your cousin on your father's side, Uncle Bosworth's daughter. You and I had the good fortune to meet when you were 10 and I was 7. Mm. Mm. How can I forget? Real Labrador. <laughs> Teeth like a horse. Nose from a boxer that retired 10 years too late. Oh, family resemblance. Mm -hmm. I have no idea who we're talking about here. <laughs> okay, there's more. I'm coming to the States to seek my fortune. Well, that's well if you can find one for me, too. <laughs> okay. Um, I will transport myself via air and will arrive... She's going to be here this week. Wait, wait. Did she really say, I will transport myself via air? I couldn't make that up. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Let's see. Robert, I would really appreciate the opportunity of seeing you and would be ever so grateful if you would aid my quest, my quest for a place to stay. Quest? <laughs> Your very word. Boy, she sounds like a real number. Let me see if I can draw a visual, visual description here. Face that has never seen makeup. Lips like an elastic band stretched across a baseball. Dress circa 1948, kind of like a designer GI tent. Hmm, <laughs> goody, and she's coming to visit you. <laughs> Great. Says she'll call you. you. Might not to be around. Well, do you want to hear any more? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Um, listen, I really have to go. Me too. Uh, listen, when you see Sean, tell him to call me. Okay. Uh, finish. I have to go. Mm -hmm. oh. Later. Hmm. Stella and I are very aware of what you've done with Edward and Alan. Yes, we are. Oh, I see. You've helped them a great deal with their investments. Edward and Alan say such nice things about you. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. So, what can I do for you ladies? Well, we have a business, just the two of us. A small business. We call it Pickle Lila. We make pickle relish and sell it to our boys and girls in the service. Oh, oh yes, I've heard of it. Stella and I have been very lucky. We're really not business people. But we've managed to succeed in a modest way. We give some of what we earn to charities. Oh, that's very generous of you. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, now, Miss Stansbury... Oh, want... please call me Cheryl. Oh, oh, Cheryl, well, thank you. As I was saying, uh, we have a little money left over, and we'd like to invest it in the stock market. Oh, I see. Well, I um, should warn you that even when you're an expert, it can be risky. Oh, I hate that word. <laughs> well, we can't forget the stock market crash last October. Oh, heavens, yes. I thought Edward was going to have apoplexy. I remember. <laughs> but we still want you to help us invest. All right. Um, I also should warn you that even if you're lucky, your return on your investment may be very slow. That is, unless you're investing a lot of money. Oh, Edward's told me that a hundred times. Edward's a good businessman. We'd like to try. We even have a stock in mind. Oh, really? What's that? Meditech. Oh, um, are you aware that Alan and Edward just sold their shares of Meditech? 
yes, and they made a great deal of money. We like the idea of Meditech. We've talked about it. Yes, we have. You see, it's a, it's a medical organization, and both Stella and I enjoy helping people who help to make others well. Yes, we do. Oh, all right. Well, if you insist on Meditech... Oh, we do. We do. All right. How much would you like to invest? Well, we thought we'd try three million. I'm glad to hear that. You know, I was saying to Lewis here the other day, I said, Lewis, it's a shame the commissioner can't spend more time over here. Didn't I say that, Lewis? Oh, uh, that's right, he did, sir. Well, then <laughs> perhaps I should drop by more often. Hmm. Well, uh, you're a busy man. I realize that you can't be spreading yourself around with... <clears throat> uh, I guess it's out of the bag, huh? Mm -hmm. It sure is. I'm not about to win any popularity contest around here. Well, I wouldn't say that. You're right up there, along with the muggers. <laughs> well, that's all right, as long as I'm not the muggy. Actually, Robert, I'm glad you haven't been traipsing around in places where you have no jurisdiction. Hey, my nose is clean. Mm -hmm. Have you got anything more on the Marty Wood situation? Nothing at the moment. Case is practically closed. At the moment? Yeah. Excuse me. <clears throat> Scorpio. Is this Robert Scorpio? Yes, it is. I have a long-distance collect call for you from Prunella Witherspoon. Prunella? Witherspoon. Will you accept the charges? What's that again? You, you say Meditex made a fantastic recovery in Florida? Are you sure about that? What? What? Meditex getting a lot of, uh, 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 of really good press? And its stock is up six points in the last hour? Well, how about that? Thanks a lot for the information, Carl. Well, have you ladies been out in the park putting relish on people's hot dogs? <laughs> mm, we bought something this morning, dear. Uh, what, hot dog push carts? <laughs> well, I've got to be going. Goodbye, dear. Bye-bye, mm. precious. Oof. He's up to no good. He always behaves like that when he is. Well, it's too bad we didn't get a chance to tell him we bought all that Meditech stock. But he'll hear about it soon enough. <laughs> Your, um, your secretary was away from her desk. Oh, Edward, please come in. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hey, you're looking even more lovely than usual today. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I like the way you're wearing your hair. And uh, that perfume, mmm, that exquisite come-hither scent. <laughs> oh, well, thank you again. By the way, handsome, whatever happened to that dinner you promised to treat me to? Well, now, don't pout. All in good time. Uh, we must be discreet, you know. Oh, yes. We wouldn't <laughs> want to cause a scandal. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I think I'd like to uh, invest in Meditech again. Really? Do you, do you mind if I ask why? Um, instincts, my dear. Instincts. Uh, I always play my hunches. Oh, well, I'm always here to help you play your hunches. You did very well with Meditech last time. Yes, that I did. So, how much would you like to invest this time? Well, all the profit that I made in Meditech when I sold it, plus uh, five million dollars. Really? Uh, is Alan involved in this? No. No, I thought I'd go it alone. Oh, all right. Well... I can buy it for you right now. Well, good. Fabulous world of computers. Uh, fast, fast work. Just the way I like it. Seems you're... Sh ah, sorry, am I disturbing? Oh, I think the secretary went to the bank. Banks. Oh, that fabulous word, banks. <laughs> come, on. Well, come in, come in, my boy. Come in. She's all yours. I'm just leaving. Bye, Edward. Bye-bye.